Today, we're going to be looking at the life of a DJ. Yes, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Music is sweet, but how do you get a great, great, great list of songs in your party? How do you ensure that your people stay and enjoy your party? Today, we're going to be talking to DJ Steve Wills. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Steve Wills. I like the way you're just chilling with your glasses like, hey, man, hey, what's up? Are you, do, you live in this, do you live in this town? Yeah, I do. <laughs> How are you feeling today, man? I'm fine. So you see, I, I was just uh, telling the viewers, like, what is the importance of music? What is the importance of having a DJ? Sometimes you can just have someone just plug in something in the party and then the music just goes on and on. Is it important for me to have a DJ at a party or I can just put in that MP3 and let the song, sp song play, play on and on? <laughs> yes, it's very important to get a DJ. Okay. You know, there is different between getting a DJ than just playing the music. Mm. There's more to DJ mm. than just playing the music. Shame up. So as it is now, if you book a DJ, mm. it's, not, it's not just coming there to play music for you. Okay. DJs work with crowd. Mm. It's more like a psychology work with mm. people. Mm. Mm. If, you play, if you play a particular song from your phone or mm. from a Bluetooth or something, mm. it will work the dance floor. Mm. You're only playing the music. It will just look like a background song. Mm. But if a DJ is there, okay. you should know that you're having a party. So, so what you're saying is when you play a song, and people are not feeling it. Yeah. You, should, you should switch it, right? You should switch. Mm. So how, how do you, you just watch the mood? Is that you, people you, see you read your crowd. You just have to read your audience. Mm. You just have to read your audience. There are some songs we play at times. And you know, that, okay, fine. Okay, there's a, there's a, there's, there was a time I was playing mm. trending songs. Okay. You know, those songs that are all over the internet, and I was playing these songs. But I was like, ah, these songs are hit songs. Are but people are not vibing to it. Mm. Like, okay, let me just go back to old school. Mm. Then the minute I hit one old school, they were like, oh, DJ, so that was... That, that, like, that party, was it like the party for like old people? Were they, were they yeah, like, it was for people elderly like, people. Elderly people. So, yes. so that means that you read, I mean, based on the kind of people you have in the party, that's Definitely, the kind of song yes. you play. That's the kind of song you play. Mm, mm. When you're playing for old people, you shouldn't be playing hits. They want to listen to hit songs. They mm. want to feel among the, mm. the youth. But mm. most of the time, they they appreciate more of the old schools now for, for as it is now what song are people vibing to the most now now <laughs> currently what song is that song that when you play uh, you are sure that everywhere will scatter what's that <laughs> song now first of all <laughs> whiskey songs oh really which whiskey one whiskey songs whenever you go to, whenever you go yes, for yes, an event if you don't play whiskey songs mm. i don't think you're a dj because those songs are always there what's this song with uh, a k1 song um the, the popular k1 song um, ideal okay yeah ideal rio okay you yeah. know sometimes i wonder how you know i think he's, he's done that song before and how that song just came around to just make people want to vibe to it. What do you think is about that song that really spices up a, a party? First of all, it's the content of the songs. Mm. It's all about mm. praying and, you know, and it's most relatable to you about people, mm. you know. But he did the remake of the songs. Mm. The song I, has been there before. Mm. Just went to back to the studio and did something different with the mm. songs. The beat, the sound is different. Great, great. So that was what people enjoyed most right. about the song. Why and DJ? Why, why did you choose disc jockey? Why did you choose that? Why not something else? Why not music? You look like you look like a superstar. You look like someone <laughs> that was just getting into the studio and just you know drop great mix, you know, great mix. Why uh, not music? Why not dancing? Why not modeling? Yes, you know. Why not? Why, why did you choose? Why come time I've always wanted to be an artist. Okay, but you know. <laughs> Destiny has its own. Did you do some songs? Play. Did you did you record? I some didn't songs? actually go to the studio to record. Okay, yeah. I actually wanted to be a producer first, mm, mm. but I fell in love with DJing when I when, when I saw a DJ mm. on this TV screen. I was like, wow, okay, this is actually nice. I'm a music person. I love music, mm, mm. and I was able to interpret the songs he was playing. I was like, okay, fine. Since you're playing this one, I think this next track we go along. Even before mm. I became a DJ, mm. I was already reading BPM. BPM is um, like calculating beats. Okay. If you're on a high tempo, mm. you should know the next song to play on the high tempo. Mm. I, I was already doing that. Okay. I didn't know it was even called BPM. Mm. So when I went into DJ, it was so easy for me. So I flowed with everything. So it's just like a passion thing for me. So what you're saying is if you have a song that is high tempo, now you shouldn't just drop from that to a slow song. Does, yes. that, kill, does that kill the vibe? It sometimes? kills the vibe totally. Oh. It, it, takes, it only takes a professional DJ mm. that has been there for a very long time. Mm. So knows how to, you know, transit both songs. Great. What is the life of a DJ like? Do you spend all night outside? Do you stay late? You know? You <laughs> what is the life of a DJ like? I would love to know. Uh, as there was someone who was asking me one time that uh, uh, since I go by DJ Mercury was saying that why don't you do 
DJ Mercury will be nice, you know. But you should try and be a DJ. But me, I was thinking this is not something I would love to do okay. you know, as much as you know, DJing is, is, is great, but it's not really something I, I'd love to do. But what's your life like? A regular just everyday to day activity, what is it like? Uh, man, it's fun, it's stressful and you know, most of what I enjoy what I Let's do. Let's talk about the stressful part. What is the stressful, stressful about part. being a DJ? Well the stressful part is especially when you're going out for events. Mm. She grew up. Um getting your equipment there, being there on time, mm. living late. You know, most of the times we don't sleep. Mm. Our works are during weekends mm. Mm. and mostly midnights when people are already sleeping. That is when the works are being done. Mm. And the upgrading of equipment, songs, you mm. know. The little time you have is just to upgrade yourselves or mm. probably go online and look for later songs. Mm. We DJs, we also produce songs. We also we make beats. Okay. We extend songs. So you produce beats as we produce? Yes. Okay. So there's a lot to do. There's a lot in mm. it. Great, great. Now, let's move on to something a bit lighter now. Yeah? <laughs> let's move on to something lighter. Now, <laughs> I, I was going to ask your parents. Let's, let's start for your parents, then we'll get to your girlfriend. Okay. So for your parents, when you told them or when you just, you know, when you broke the news, because for Nigerian families, it's always breaking news mm. when you want to do anything in arts, right? Uh, well, for me, it was a bit easier. Okay. Yeah, I, I'd worked a little bit before coming into entertainment. But okay. for you, when you just broke the news to them that this is what you want to do, okay. you want to be a DJ, what was, how did they accept it? And what was, the, what was it like? First of all, my mom thought I would, I would be responsible. <laughs> she thought what? She thought I would be responsible. She was like, okay. ah, what is, what is DJ? I mm -hmm. said, people that play music, ah, well, are you sure you want to be useful in life? <laughs> she told you this. That was what she said. I oh. said, mom, DJs actually make good money. Mm. She grew up. So mm. when I told her that, I can actually make about 200 k per night. She was mm. like, eh? Yeah. So when, when the money talk comes in, that's when they <laughs> now accept it. Like, mm, okay. Yes. Mm. When the money check, uh, aspect came in, they were like, okay, fine. Mm. So how do I intend to start? Since I've seen someone that's willing to teach me. So mm. at first, she wasn't in support. But no, when she saw that I have passion for it, mm. and um, at times I'll go out for events, she'll be calling that. When am I coming mm. home? I was, I'm not coming home today. She, ah, mm. I saw that they do. I um, mm. said, yeah, so. Mm. And but that she, was it. She, she'll probably be seeing you during the day, right? Yes. Mostly At that, she doesn't even see me for a whole week. Mm. Because especially during those December season, mm. she won't see me. At times, I'll just stay in the hotel close by. There was a time we were having Lagos uh, countdown, mm. the concert then yes. in Lagos. So it was at Island. We closed by 12, 1. Mm. Come back there the next day by 6, 5. Yeah. So I have to be close by there with the whole so sound guys. Home, yes. Week. So th that was even the season I started. Mm -hmm. So it was very ethic for me. And my mom would always be coming. When am I coming? I was like, can't come home. But now, work. something is coming in us, so she's accepting it more. <laughs> yes. In fact, right. she has, she right, has yeah. given up. <laughs> we still have DJ Steve Wills in the building telling us his experience on being a disc jockey over a couple of years now. We'll find out how many years we've been doing that. But you guys can just call us right now. 90 is the number to call. And if you're live with us on social media as well, just throw your questions or comments and then we'll get back to you. All right? And I'll be very, very happy to get a call from you guys just to ask um, him a question. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, eight years now. Eight years? Yeah. Wow. So, so what would you say to someone who is just, you know, starting life and they're thinking of being a DJ? And probably you are noticing that. Is there a way to to know if this person is not right for the job mm -hmm. from the onset. Yeah. I know that people always say, ah, yes, uh, um, uh, be consistent, blah, blah, blah. But how do you know? Because there are some DJs out there that once they just start, even me, I can tell you that I'd probably be able to play songs or switch songs better than them. Well, mm -hmm. maybe not, but I just feel like that. So how do you know from the onset when you start that this thing is not your calling? Is there a way to know and so that you can advise? Yeah, there is. Once you start getting bored mm, yourself, <laughs> once you start getting bored yourself, because mm. there is a boring part to this DJ work. Mm, mm. When I was when I first started, you know, my boss gave me a whole lot of folders to go check. Okay. Talking about thousands of songs. Mm. When you start getting bored, mm. just know that okay, fine. If you can't do this thing for close to two hours, the minimum time you can give to DJ mm. studying because everything takes studying. So what are you? What do you study? Music. You study songs? Yes. Even when I was with my boss, I used to write songs on f um, my jotter. Mm. I write songs down. You study songs. So wh what are you studying songs for? What do you, why do you study songs? You study, for B you study for BPM. Okay. That is beat per minute. Okay. Tempo of the songs. Mm. You study to know which song will blend well with this one. Mm. At times, you just have to play offset. When you play offset, it's you playing without you memorizing your songs. There's mm. one thing about DJing, mm. especially people that play in a club or mm. bar. Mm. People will, if you play in a bar for two times, people will know your pattern. Mm. If you make if you mix two songs 
you mix it again the same way you mixed it people mm. will know that okay this is how you play your songs mm. so there has to be a way you have to be creative with these things wow see lots of questions are coming into my head right now as you're talking because it's beginning to sound like a science <laughs> yes because i <laughs> would you, you, i mean before having you here and before talking to a professional DJ like yourself, I would just think, you know, DJs or just get the songs, put the thing in your ear, switch it, switch it, and just play songs. But now you're talking about, you know, so studying songs and all that. Now, yeah. I don't want you to run away from the question. Let's go back to your girlfriend. We're talking about your mom, right, and your parents. Yeah. Now, let's go to your girlfriend. How is she taking this, you know, you being a DJ? Is, does she love it? And uh, what part does she play in your, in your career? Okay. Actually, she likes it when I'm... You know, controlling the crowd. Okay, when you are vibing and everyone yes, is. Yes, mm. she likes that part. Uh. But aside from that, she would like. So, how about, sorry to call you, but how about when you are vibing and, I mean, probably some girls are coming to collect your number? Uh, Does she, she goes to parties with you? Yeah, at uh. times she goes. Okay. The, the recent time I went, she followed me there. Mm. So, uh, she's uh, she's not comfortable with it. <laughs> but she just has to take it. That's how it is. Well, you know you're a superstar now. I mean, come on, you're going to be there with the crowd and lots of people. I she's I I think she's yet to, to get used Accept to it. That. So yes. when they come for the number, do you say no? I have a girlfriend, or you just you know? Yeah. I don't know who. Don't lie. Gonna, I don't know. Who, I don't know who's going to book me for my next gig. Okay. So I just okay yeah because that, that could it. be booking as yes. well. Yes. All right. I just, I just mm -hmm. give the person my mm -hmm. contact card. So you see, as a DJ, as a superstar, as an artist, this is a very good reason for you to accept the numbers, right? Don't say very because true. you have a wife or girlfriend. Yes. Uh, don't tell them, no, go ahead. Especially those the ladies, they don't have mm. brings gig. Mm. They just call you after. My friend wants to do something. Mm. Share you. That's how it goes. Great, great. Now let's move on to, you were, you were saying something about studying songs, right? Yeah. Now, um, these days, we're beginning to have... Uh, stuff like schools are people actually really teaching mm -hmm. djs now mm -hmm. right is it important if you want to start djing now, did you attend like any formal like uh four walls of a school no or, or no. someone had to teach you or you go through no this formal academy dj yeah, academy yeah. it's just of recent okay then when we are learning then just like go serve someone mm, learn the craft the that is the school so what would you say is the difference between going to an academy like uh, ky's has yeah, right yeah going to an academy and serving someone is there a difference is there something different that the academy would give you that the uh you serving someone wouldn't give you is it the same or what would you say is the difference uh let me say there's advantage and disadvantage okay. to it okay let me start with the advantage to it the advantage is that of which one now of you learning an acad academy okay that one, you know, is straightforward. You're going there to learn. Okay. Shake up. There will be a schedule that, okay, this is when you learn, this mm. is the time you learn. Mm. That is just it. Straightforward. There is mm. nothing attached to it. But when you're learning with someone, you know, there's this, uh, there's something that comes along with it. Mm. Let me just say the way Nigeria is, yeah, you serve ahead. your boss. Yeah, yeah. You know, you do some things for your boss. You go to his house. After I come over, you will take, you but fresh water. you fresh water, you wash, <laughs> you, all those things. I did it too. I won't lie to you. I yeah, did all those I things. Well. But I know the value I was chasing. That was mm. why I was. It wasn't, it was nothing to me. I did all those things. It okay. was like, it was normal for me. Yeah. Yeah. That is just the advantage. So, so I mean, why do you, sorry to coach you, but why do people always add that part? Because I've said this a couple of times on the show when I was in the studio learning um, uh, sound production as well. You know, the guy also made me fetch water. Is it like a thing that people do? Or is it that they just want you to, is it like, why is it that you have to like suffer? That, why must that part, why must it be a part It was of there. Everything has advanced now. Mm, so mm, they, they, mm. they will call you a moshe, you mm. have learning work, serve your boss, mm. all those mm. things. You just have to, you know, even, then I even have seniors. Mm. When we go out, they'll be sharing food, they'll give you this small. Mm. Uh, come on, you have to take it. So mm. that is just how it is then. It's right. just the culture. Mm. So do you really? have a manager now? You have someone managing you? And For now, I'm managing myself. Okay. For now, I'm just managing myself. Though there's someone that is coming on board. Mm. So you know, it's, we are still dealing with the monetary terms. Who is the person? Who is the person coming on board? I don't say for now. <laughs> I don't say I don't say the name. <laughs> for now, it's still, because I don't know if it's going to work out. Okay. He's still checking out some things. For checking now. out some things. Yes. All right, great. Does it pay to be a DJ? Yes, it does. Uh, for, for people who are thinking, uh, oh, man, this guy looks fresh, looks cool, but <laughs> does it actually pay? Is it a career or craft that you can bank on for many years? You know, we have the likes of Jimmy Jack and yeah. who are doing well you know, with this craft, but does it pay, you know? And has anything changed from their time till now? Yeah, a lot has changed and it really pays. Mm. It will pay in the sense where, but you know, let me just use it in every business, you need capital. Okay. In DJ, you also need capital. Capital mm. in the sense that you need to get your equipment. Mm. You need to brand yourself. Branding mm. is money. Mm. With all those things being taken care of, 
believe me, you are close to making money. Mm, and you'll mm. be famous if you know what you're doing. Mm, mm. So it, there is money in it and it pays to be a DJ. Mm. Great. Now, before we started this show, you were telling me something before we uh, came live. You were saying something about uh, the fact that you wanted to prepare yourself for fame. Yeah. You wanted to do the work before uh, getting up there, before being known. In fact, you've turned down a couple of opportunities for your face and your brand to be out there. Yeah. But my question to you is, you have been doing this for eight years. So how come you are not ready to be famous? How come you know you don't want someone to post your picture that much? Or you know, but now you're on TV. I mean, you're getting famous. You know, <laughs> do you get what I mean? But why do you think that after eight years you still need to do more work before you know putting your brand out there? Don't okay. you think you are shooting yourself in the foot? Don't you think it's time for you to you know put yourself out there? Well, uh -huh. yeah. As it is now, to be honest with you. Um, and this fame comes with expectations. Mm. It comes with a lot of responsibilities. Mm. And if you are the kind of person that is just looking for fame, you might just find out that you, you are not even getting to the right spot. You might just be slacking behind or probably not getting the kind of attention you need. Okay. There's a lot to be... So you think you, you, need to you, you think you still need to do more work? You still need to do more work. Mm. You still need to do more work. A lot of work before you start looking for fame. Because first of all, you need to make sure you're ready, equipped, like how many years are you talking about now? Because well, it's, not about, it's, about not, it's not about the years, it's about mm. the grace. Mm. It's not about the it's years. Not, and it's not even soup. Yes. <laughs> it's, if you, there are some DJs that have been DJing for 15 years. No, no, no one knows their name. Grace is not working, soup is not working. Someone will just come for within two years. Mm. She's everywhere, he's everywhere. What makes that difference? Now, what makes that difference? Branding. Branding comes with money. Mm. So when you mention branding, just not talking about money. Mm. There's some DJ gigs now that... Most DJs, are, they are not as good as they seem, Shigra, mm. but with branding, with connection, mm. you see them, they'll get there. What, what DJs are you And connection at, plays a key part in DJing, mm. because you need connection to be out there. What DJs are you looking up to, you know, that you're looking up to say, I want to be like this guy, I'd love to work with this guy, or collaborate with this guy? Well, uh, right from time, my boss has been my mentor. Was who is he? Who's your boss? DJ Josh. Okay. Yeah, he has been my mentor. And why? Why, 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 why do you like I mean, I love the way he plays. He's craft. Everything mm. about him is unique. Mm. Mm. The way he plays. He's the, I think he's the only DJ I've seen that can play for elderly people. Mm. Old people with dancing. People that don't have strength. The mm. music with The music has its own spirit. Mm. My boss is number one. Then DJ K Wise. Mm. DJ K Wise is one of the youngest DJs that is taking it out mm. there. I mean, mm. he's going global now. Mm. Then the DJ Neptune and mm. Jimmy Jatt. Jimmy Jatt has been our for, like our godfather in the business, mm. so we all look up to him. How about artists? What artists are you looking up to working with? I know that DJs are beginning to work, do lots huh? of work with artists, doing songs. Actually, uh, he, and all that. I have a friend of mine. His name is Benjud Vibes. You know, he just released this EP okay. some time ago. So we are planning on doing something together. But hopefully, for now, it is about uh, major artists. Now, I would like to work with David Doe. Mm. I'm a big fan of his, like <laughs> big fan. See, That's I mean, how I'll play. I won't play David Doe's song. Oh. <laughs> like seriously. Great. Well, well, let's work with David Doe. So if you could see David Doe now, and you had to sell yourself as a DJ, yeah. So you had uh, a couple of seconds to sell yourself to David Doe now and tell him this is why you should get me on a 30 BG gang. What would you say to him? This is this is the moment because this can <laughs> just get played to David Doe straight up. <laughs> what would you say to David Doe? To be honest with you, yeah. I would just express myself to him. Like and you just I, 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 I just say I love his sounds. Mm. I love his sounds. I love the way he sings. I mm. love everything about his music. Mm. Like if I'm going to be DJ now, I play David Doe songs a lot. At times I play old schools of David Doe's. Mm. And I was like, Dami Dugo is evergreen. Evergreen. Very energetic song. Aye is evergreen. Mm. The DJ must know the reaction of every song to the audience. Mm. You, you were talking about helping uh, upcoming artists yeah. to, to play songs. Yeah. Now, do you get, do you take feedback to them? Because when you play these songs right now, do you study the crowd to see if the crowd is vibing to the new artist that they have no idea about? Because yeah. they're very new. Yes. And you know there's that bias as well because it's David Do, I hear David Do and the beat, yeah. I will vibe to it. Because yeah. it's sometimes it's not even really nice for some artists, right? Yes. Do you take feedbacks for those new artists such that you get to help them? Of do course, do that? yes. How do you do that? You tell them, come on, they don't feel you. Oh, first okay. of all, before I play my song, if I play an artist song to my audience, I'll first listen to the songs. Okay. I have to study if, that song. If it's not... If it's not okay, mm. or like, bro, I don't hear. <laughs> <laughs> what if, if they're willing to pay you? If they're willing to pay me, I'll collect the money. I'll play it for just two minutes. Mm. If the song is two minutes, I'll play four minutes. How I won't let the song. How do they check that you've played the song? Uh, they will hear their songs. So once it's played, I'll okay, take it okay. out with something else. Okay. 
But first of all, if I play Who's an artist song, present, okay. yes, mostly I don't collect money from artists because mm -hmm. I also want to feature an artist okay. later in the future. Mm, so I don't know. collect money from them. Mm -hmm. I rapport with them because we are all an artist. I'm also an artist. Mm -hmm. I also I can produce music. Mm -hmm. I can also make music. All right. So Steve Rules is in the building right now. He's saying to all upcoming acts out there that if you want to promote your song, he does not collect money. Eh, Abby? It's <laughs> 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 <Is> that DJ. <laughs> you want to set me up? <laughs> Go on, so how do you relate the feedback to them? Well, yeah, if it's nice, I'll tell them how nice it is. And but um, if the crowd don't really vibe to it, how do you? How do you? You know, you can't hurt. There's one thing about songs. There was one thing about like. songs. Mm. Is there is very possibility. There is a possibility that the first time you hear it, you won't like it. Mm. Yes. Mm. What makes people to like a particular song is the consistency. Is, yeah, Once you keep hearing it, I mean, you on your Internet, you hear the song, mm. radio, TV, yeah, you keep yeah. hearing it, you like it. You must like it. There's yeah, this song by Ninola, mm. Bana, 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 me. I don't like that song then. But when it first mm. came out, I was like, ah, I heard this song like three times. Next, I start blasting. Yeah. Me too, I'm not feeling the vibes. The first time I heard Tungulo as well, mm -hmm. I was like, what? Was this what kind of song is Tungulo, That is Tungulo. it. And then it just continued. <laughs> that is it. Yeah. Before you know it, the, the song will just take hold of And mm. that is the magic about music. Great, great. Ah, wow. I didn't know that DJ is a science like this. I'm ah. learning about <laughs> There's more to it. <laughs> so uh, if you had to say something to upcoming DJs out there, what do you have to say to DJ, people who want to be DJs? Advice that you have for them? Okay, uh, first of all, you need to make sure that you are passionate about it because okay. passion is one thing that drives you to become good at whatever you do. Mm. Put in a lot of work. DJ, you have to put in a lot of work in DJing. Mm. It's not something you just register now, you just rest. You have to put in a lot of work. Be professional, you know, make, it, make, make research, learn mm. YouTube. Just want you to watch a lot of videos, mm. learn, practice, keep practicing because DJ. Even the top ones, DJ KY still practice. Mm. A lot of people How still do you practice. practice as a DJ? Just play songs. Play you? songs. Do your scratch. Do everything. Mm. You no, know, the more you be, you, you are more skillful with it. Mm. The more you, you are improving. Mm. Because there are some things you don't know yesterday that you learned today. Mm. And tomorrow you still learn new, something new. Mm. There's always something to learn. Mm. There's only no matter how good you are, mm. there's always something to learn. Great, great. What was your policy on booking and cancellation? Um, I know that some people they just uh, there's a there's a post I usually see on uh, WhatsApp status. It says that if you never pay, now gist with a gist or something like that. I don't know if you've seen mm -hmm. anything like that. So what's your <laughs> <laughs> what's your policy on booking and cancellation? Maybe you you dates are clashing and you have yeah. to cancel that they've paid to you. Yeah. Do you refund or if you haven't paid twenty four hours before the gig, you're not going to be there. If you haven't seen half or full, what's your cancellation policy? Booking policy. Well, first of all, payment confirms booking. Okay. Once you've not paid, yeah, nothing was no, 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 not just. I like that. Payment <laughs> you are making inquiries. <laughs> we are just gisting. You are just gisting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about the cancellation, where well, mm. you have to pay 24 hours prior to the event because okay. you need to get prepared for it. Every DJ prepares for events. Mm. That's why if it's impromptu work, mm. we charge more mm. if we are free. Mm. But we have to pay. If it's a cancellation thing, you won't get 100% back. So is it that you have to arrange songs based on the kind of event you're going to? Yes, we arrange folders, create, okay. we create, so you yes. ask, what are the questions you ask for events are, who are the people coming, age yeah. group? Let me use, that. for example, wedding now, mobile, mm -hmm. when it comes to mobile events. Mm -hmm. um, if it's wedding now, we want to know if the bride will have a dance with the father, okay. groom, yeah, and kind of sound, you know, uh, st stuff like that. And what else again? Um, first dance, mm -hmm. we create folders for everything. Mm -hmm. If it's just like a normal club then. We, if we've been to the club on last week Friday, mm. we won't come down and play the same kind of mistake. Okay. Some DJs will like want to make a little shift, make mm. adjustments to it, mm. add some songs, remove some songs. At times, me, I go way back. Mm. I'll just go and look for Hack, is that his first song? Let me just go and play. I'll just go to the yeah. songs that it's been a while you've heard. So once I play that, ah, the songs, it will mm. make you get some uh, memories. Yeah. Ah, it's been a while. All I heard right, I like that. I would love to put you on the spot now. Something just popped up in my mind, right? If you. <laughs> That's <laughs> why I don't right, I want to put you on the spot now, but don't worry. Surprises, it's something, honestly. It's something uh, easy. If you had to, now this is about the music industry right now. Okay. As a DJ, who can you say, who can you say has like uh, the biggest buzz when it comes to request of songs? So if you had to arrange Nigerian artists now, yeah. who can you say is the number <coughs> one in terms of requests, the songs you play the most? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And all that. Who would you say is that one artist that everyone always asks for their song and their songs make people jump the most or their songs vibe or kind of, no matter the kind of song they, they play? Who is that one artist that as a DJ you can doff your hat for? 
that they have the most requests and most played probably on your own deck. Okay, uh, I think it's risky. Hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. risky. Okay. All right now, thank you so much, uh, Steve Wills, for being thank the DJ Steve Wills. <laughs> yeah, and he has much. just crowned WizKid as <laughs> his number one and most played and most requested, right? Yeah, true. Thank you so much. Let's hope you that gets to WizKid and he gets signed. But you have already said that he, he wants to work with uh, David O. I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, Allah, thanks so much for joining <laughs> us. Thank you very I've much. I've learned a lot about this joking. I probably yeah. would think about uh, going into that space one of these days or train someone, buy some equipment, give to someone, and then and start collecting returns, right? If people do that. Uh, investment. Uh, it will take right. a while. No problem. <laughs> have to go. Now, thanks so much for joining us, guys. If you're right. ever thinking of being a DJ, you know, do your practice well. Get the proper gears, as he said. Yes, and you'll be great. And always practice, yes. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. And the next time when I come your way, be safe. Bye-bye.